standard gauge, and minimum gauge. What's the difference? Well, let's find out. On the island of Sodor, there are many engines, and we know standard gauge and narrow gauge. But what we're going to learn is how standard gauge and minimum gauge are different. Whether it's steamies or diesels, most engines run on standard gauge. But a railway that is located on Duck's branch line is a minimum gauge railway called Arlesdale Railway. Here's Duck. And here's Rex. Notice how Duck is bigger than Rex. And if you didn't notice, a standard gauge track is dilated a scale factor of 0.5 to make minimum gauge rails. Here's Duck. He's standard gauge like Thomas, Gordon, and Oliver. They're bigger than minimum gauge engines. Here's Rex. He's minimum gauge like Mike, Bert, and Frank. They're very small and can make even tighter turns on minimum gauge rails than on standard gauge rails and narrow gauge rails. It's the same for rolling stock too. At Arlesburg West, the Arlesdale engines collect ballast from old mines on hopper cars that run on bogies, fill them up, and transfer to standard gauge cars so that they can be taken to spread new ballast on rails. Standard gauge and minimum gauge. One big, one small. Two different types of engines for two different sizes of track. Whether they're big or small, they have something in common. And that's being really useful.